It's very hot. It's very humid. I'm 2,500 meters up in the Volcano National Park in Rwanda. I'm sweating, my legs are aching, and a gorilla has just changed the way I think. Actually, not the gorilla itself, but the story of how these gorillas have survived and thrived in Rwanda has just opened my mind to the idea of radical collaboration. Let me explain. Before 2004, the gorilla population in the park was being devastated by poaching. Poachers went largely unchecked and unpunished across this and the neighboring parks in Uganda and the DRC. They were desperate and increasingly dangerous, and conservationists were at a loss as to how to stem the tide of body parts and live animals being taken from the park. Then a young Rwandan intern named Edwin Sabuhoro bravely went undercover to rescue a baby gorilla. The poachers had killed several adults and were attempting to sell the baby on the black market. The sting operation saved the baby and the two young poachers were caught and sentenced to life in prison. Of course, Edwin was happy for the rescue, but he also felt very sad that the two young men, not that different from him in many ways, had become so desperate that they'd turned to poaching and had now ruined their lives. He wanted to understand why they had made those choices, so he visited with their families who lived just outside the park. One of the men's fathers told him plainly, if you were starving and couldn't feed your family, wouldn't you do something desperate to survive? Spurred by this comment, Edwin investigated deeper into the communities living on the park boundary. What he discovered in talking and listening to them was that the people resented the existence of the park. They actually suffered because of their proximity to the park. Their crops and homesteads were threatened by marauding animals, and they were prevented from accessing the park for food, wood and water. They certainly did not see the park as an asset, and saw almost no reason to conserve its rich ecology. Edwin's conversations with the communities helped him understand that if the basic needs of the people around the park were not being met, and if they were not given reasons to value the park and its resources, then the gorillas in the park itself would inevitably disappear. He realised that the park could only be saved if a direct relationship was created between the people living outside of it and the resources, animals, plants and other assets contained inside its boundaries. What was needed was a radical collaboration. So he started a company called Rwanda Eco Tours, which shares its profits from guiding and hosting tourists with the communities around the park. He opened a cultural village, staffed by ex-poachers, where tourists could engage with Rwandan food, music and dance. He encouraged young villagers to become guides and porters and rangers, earning dollars directly from tourists in the park. The government of Rwanda and other operators saw the value of the model and aligned their practices so that the park now effectively disperses more than 600,000 US dollars a year to community projects. Schools, health facilities, water storage, roads, a radical amount of positivity injected into the community through this collaboration. And now the park is treasured by all as an invaluable partner for development and growth. Edwin hopes now that this approach can be applied in neighboring DRC and Uganda, where although the costs of seeing the gorillas are significantly less than in Rwanda, the problem of desperate, dangerous poachers and the disenfranchised communities that create them still persists. In Rwanda, there have been no gorillas poached since 2005. The poachers have become the protectors. And that brings me back to my gorilla-sized, mind-shifting moment. As I sat watching the real-life result of Edwin Sabuhoro's transformative thinking, I realized that we in global mobility need to challenge ourselves to consider not just collaboration as we're used to, but a radical collaboration across our experience. Radical collaboration not as a quick fix, but as a journey we take as partners. Radical collaboration that we engage in as a business to evolve, to grow, and to survive.